Welcome back to another episode of People Doing Weird Shit. On today's episode, we got a bride going viral on all social media platforms for refusing to say obey her husband during wedding vows because they didn't talk about that one during counseling and she made it clear he cannot be broke. Just watch the video. For better? For better? For worse? For worse? For richer? For richer? For poor? For poorer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we hit that snag about 20 times in counseling. Brill made it very clear to Jonathan, you cannot be broke. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. To love. To love. Cherish. Cherish. And to obey. <laughs> we didn't talk about that one in counseling. We did talk about that in counseling. Yes, we did. So you want me to repeat that again? You want to just keep going? I think we can keep going. All right. <laughs> so I can't tell whether she was joking or not, but if she was joking, cool. But if she wasn't joking, this is low-key embarrassing. And to do this in front of friends and family is actually wild. But from the looks of this video, the man likes it. So congrats to them, I guess. So this is my opinion. Obeying in this context doesn't mean the man is going to boss you around or trying to make you a slave. It simply means you trust him enough to follow his lead. Because if you can't obey him, you can't submit to him. And if you can't submit to him, what's the point of even getting married to him? Two captains can't sail a ship, but who cares what I got to say? At least he knows the type of woman he's dealing with. But let's take a look at some of the things that people have to say on social media. This person said, I get tripped on that part too. These vows were written when men traditionally provided and women were at home. In these times, women are either going 50-50 or even 75-25 and still care for the children, household, meals, literally everything. If we are both holding the same weight or if I'm carrying the greater part, I feel like obey is offensive. Dogs obey. I'm trying to have discussions if I don't agree with something. Submission is a choice and I can do that, but obey, they gotta switch that with something else. Okay. Another person also said, this man allowed his bride to embarrass him. At that very moment, he should have left her at the altar. This new masculine woman are assisting with destroying our family dynamic. However, his spiritual advisor and pastor failed him. This woman just married a man in a dress. Typical simp. This person tweeted, he's a goofy, but this is just an extreme example of how poor y'all veteran skills be. You should know everything you need to know about a woman's character before you even propose. This person also said, I can only imagine how marriage is going for them. If you can't submit to a man, do not marry him. Submission isn't just obeying him, but it's following your man and allowing him to lead your household. It's really not that complicated or complex. This person also says she didn't stop being like this at the altar, as the mention of couples counseling shows. He chose her anyway, so black men think being treated this way is normal because of the culture we are raised in. Shaking my head. And lastly, this person says she won't even hold you down, embarrassing you in front of everyone like that, and it's just a joke to everyone. Men are leaders. If your girl don't know that, why even marry her? So yeah, let me also know what you think in the comments down below.